CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Hello and welcome to CNBC TV 18's Weekender. I'm Farah Bukwala Vora. Now my guest today is a die-hard foodie. A man whose early experiments with fine dining in India, combined with his natural abilities as an entrepreneur and a marketeer, made him into one of India's earliest and most celebrated restaurateurs. We're in conversation today with Mr. Anjan Chatterjee, the managing director of Speciality Restaurants, the chain that runs the famous mainland China and O Calcutta brand of restaurants. Let's go inside and meet him. Uh, Mr. Chatterjee? Yes, thank you. Hi, Mr. Chatterjee. Hi, Farah. How are you? Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to the weekend. We're making, you know, one of the closest to my heart is that it's called the stir-fried, pan-fried vegetable. Sure. You know, it is something which is the healthiest food of Chinese. It's a okay. very home-style cooking. Mm -hmm. And there is very little of oil in that and it's actually you know uh, one of the most divine dishes of Chinese we are making home style Chinese pan fried vegetables you know uh, Mr. Chatterjee the interesting bit is that you were not born a restaurant here right. in fact your father uh, was a research scientist in Correct. the agricultural science domain yeah. so how did your try with food or rather the food business actually begin take us through your early years so I'll be very honest with you that I was a I was a passionate Helper hmm. to my mother. Okay. And I used to do all kinds of, you know. In a Bengali household. Yeah, in a Bengali household. And there was one thing very inspiring that my father was a research scientist and there were lots of people who used to come across from abroad. Hmm. You know, Dr. Cox, Dr. Guthrie, etc. They would, my father would show the Bengali part of the cuisine, you okay. know. So, which is O Calcutta now. Those things were there, maybe a bit of it was genetic, but definitely I never planned to be one. But when I did my hotel management, there was an important thing that, you know, when you do your hotel management, then you have to get into a restauranting or a hoteliering business. Right. So, when I did that, I was working with the Taj Group. Okay. Uh, three years of management of hotel and restauranting. I quit uh, the Taj Group and joined a uh, publication house called Anand Bazaar Patrika. And then, after that, the option was very clear for me. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So, you became an engineer. That was your primary education. You went to Hotel Management Institute yes. and then you chose to quit that and go to the marketing department of ABP as I understand. Yes. So what turn of events actually brought you back into this business? You see, I'll be very honest with you. Since I had done my work, you know, at the hotels, mm. so while I started my advertising agency mm. and I helped build many brands like Ujala, Cello, etc. Imami as Imami well. Imami as well. Mm. So, I mean, there were many things which came across. So, I said that why not start marketing the Bengali food. How important were those years, you know, those years where you spent learning the business of brand building? Very, very important. You see, I, my understanding is this business is all about marketing. So, at, the, at that point of time, we were trying to do many things, mm -hmm. but we un I understood what not to do, sure. you know. In every bit, if you see that in a stand-alone context, mm. we were the only ones who right. actually built a brand like a mainland China and O Calcutta, right. Sigri, etc. So, the first movement of a stand-alone restaurant was because my belief, my humble understanding was that there's a huge gap between a five-star dining and a non-five-star. And eventually, the whole space will go the non-five-star way. We actually but how did you come down to narrow... Uh, down your choice to in fact the Chinese cuisine. Why did you feel that there was a market waiting there for people who wanted authentic Chinese? So there are four provinces in China. Sure. One is Sichuan, Fukin, Shanghainese and then Peking. Okay. That's Beijing. So there are four regions of China. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we said that rather than serving the typical Sichuanese food okay. which is all red chili paste etc. Mm -hmm. So we would rather try and balance it on the basis of things. Sure. So on the basis of the fact that we have Hunan, we have Sichuan, we have, you know, Fukin and we have Shanghainese and also Peking. So all these, for the first time, a standalone restaurant brought dim sums hmm. on their, you know, menu. We got the Peking duck hmm. standalone and then the kind of exotic vegetables that you see here are the ones which actually were brought asparagus, snow peas, bok chai or a broccoli at that point of time. I'm talking about 1994 sure. when the first restaurant, you know, Main in China was born. So we said that we will give you a 
you know, meal, five star food at non five star prices. Right. Back then, when you were conceptualizing bringing Bengali cuisine to the mainstream, because Bengali cuisine wasn't popular back then, Absolutely it's still not right. mainstream even today as we yes. speak. You'd really have to find a Bengali restaurant to go to even today, barring O Calcutta. So you knew you were taking a huge risk. There was a lot of skepticism against Bengali yes, food at that yes, point. Yes, yes. Bengali food is a little heavy on the tummy, I must right. admit. So really, what were the thoughts? Were you mindful of that skepticism? Were you aware that maybe this was not steeped in sound commercial basics? Indian food was being represented by, no offense meant to a tandoori chicken or maybe a makhni dal. Right. So why should it be confined to that? So from that point of view, I said that why not try and have Bengali food and it was also a passion and the fact that, you know, I am a Bengali. So I said that, why not dish it out? So I'll be very, you'll be very surprised to know that it's almost 21% of the total Indian food market is now Bengali now restaurants. Now Bengali, okay. So I'm very proud of the fact that we actually were You pioneered that, right, yes. right, right. God's given you a very good team. God's yes. also given you a very good family. Yes. We hear that, uh, you know, your wife had a very big role to play in this. Absolutely. And now even your son has come on board. She had a lot of time. She came on board and she was the one who started working with me and I think it's a great support when you have somebody within the family working together and she, she did a fairly good job. You can see all this interior which has been done and I think that we've been respected for that. Now, you know, Avik Chatterjee, the son. Sure. You know, of course, see, I'll tell you very honestly, because the fact that they grew up in an environment which was full of restauranting, experimentation, dad cooking, mom cooking, doing all kinds of things. So even Avik got inspired. They grew up in that environment. Right. So, Absolutely. so, you know, the inspiration came from within. Well, we'll talk about Avik a little more, but right now all this cooking is making me a little hungry. So now Mr. Anjan Chatterjee has prepared mainland China's most popular dish, stir-fried veggies. And I'm quite tempted to try this. So while I dig into this, you take a short break and there's plenty more on the other side. We'll keep talking to Mr. Chatterjee. Keep watching CNBC TV 18's Weekender. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.